Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. Moi, je suis Andreas Fixemer, directeur de la Berlin Tennis Gallery. Aujourd'hui, il s'agit d'un événement de 1983 qui a électrifié le tennis français. Yannick Noah remporte l'épreuve masculine dans le mythique Bois de Bologne à Roland Garros. Welcome to our new video. Today, we are not just talking about a racket. We are talking about an event in the history of tennis that no player in the world will ever be able to repeat. You want to know who and what I'm talking about? You will get to learn on it in this video. It was June 5, 1983. The French Open final at Stade Roland Garros, Paris. Yannick Noir serving his match ball against the Swedish superstar Mats Wilander. Noah's record, a Lecoq Sportif TCO. Winning the point, falling on his knees, made him the first competitor after 1946 to win the Musketeers trophy. His great victory made him the last ever player to win any Grand Slam tournament with a wooden racket. Even 37 years after his title, Noah is still worshipped in the Grand Nation and has been voted the most popular Frenchman several times. It's not surprising at all. Hardly anyone before or after him played tennis with such an ease. Hardly anyone spread as much fun as the Frenchman. It's quite difficult to find photos of Noah on which you don't see him with a smile on his face. The son of a former Cameroonian soccer professional and a French teacher didn't like the daily routine on the tour. Noah himself said, as a player, you always have to show strengths. You can't admit weaknesses. It's hard to be human on the pitch. The daily routine is not for me. It bores me, it's annoying. So right after his career ending in 1991, he followed doing what he could do at a certain extent only. And as a singer, he was almost more successful. Noah reached number one on the French charts and received a gold record. Noah said, I played more concerts than tennis matches. An artist can show weaknesses and feelings. I love that, and I've missed it during my professional tennis career. Playing a final is a lot of stress. The enthusiasm, the redemption comes just before and after the last point. So maybe the last 30 seconds of a match. A concert in front of 80,000 people is pleasure from the first to the last moment. Nevertheless, Noah never left the tennis scenes. In 2017, he led France Davis Cup team to the title as the team boss. He was also active in football as a consultant for Cameroon's national team and Paris Saint-Germain. So his positive personality let Noah open a lot of doors. And this made him the flagship athlete of the French producer of athletic shoes, active wear and sporting accessories, Le Coq Sportif. Let's have a look at the company's tennis profile and history before having a close look at the very last wooden record to win a Grand Slam tournament. Between 1966 and the late 1973, Le Coq Sportif and Adidas had a close collaboration. Le Coq Sportif provided the know-how from the experience in the textile industry. In 1974, the company was finally taken over entirely by Adidas. However, Adidas continued to use the brand. They worked with numerous tennis professionals, and so they did with Yannick Noah. What did Noah love by playing Le Coq Sportif TCO? TCO, by the way, stands for Tennis Concept Oversights. Let me rephrase a statement which a friend of mine just mentioned about it recently. Some tennis records are memorable. Some stick in the mind for even longer, but only a few are truly iconic. The Cox Sportif TCO was different to most wooden records, though with a bigger hat sides, much more akin to the records used by players today. Noah switched to it in 1982 and loved the bigger hat sides. 
He also liked the look of the racket, which was distinguished by its sad branch, an extra line of wood in the throat. The company said the third branch added stability and moved the sweet spot to a higher level. It was a trademark of Le Corte Sportif. Here we see three sticks from the company directly from the production line at that time. Ten years of contemporary history show the obvious change in the raw materials used. An aluminium frame from the mid-70s, Noor's Concept 3 oversize from 1983, and the Yannick Noor ceramic graphite made in 1985. The construction has remained unchanged through all those years. Noor, a style icon himself, just liked the way it looked. The record I'm holding in my hands right here has been produced exactly 12 days after Noah's unforgettable victory on June 17, 1983. It has still the original production slip and has been donated to the Berlin Tennis Gallery by Otto Dobronik, the former head of development of Adidas. With Noah remaining the only French man to win any of the four Grand Slam events in the Open Era, and with him being the last ever player to win a Grand Slam tournament playing with a wooden record. This merely adds to the iconic status of the Coq Sportif TCO. Thanks for watching our video. You may want to suggest the record which we should talk about in our next video documentary. Just put a respective comment in the comment section right here below under this video. And subscribe to our channel and you will get to know it right away. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. Moi, je suis Andreas Fixemer. Il direct. Il. Spanish. <laughs> Made him the first compatriot since 19. Uh, oder so. Das war doch richtig. Since 1946. Stimmt, das war richtig. Okay on the French charge and, uh, and uh, charge.